Welcome to your Monday Morning Pearl. I'm Steve Keck. Today we're going back, I mean way back, to an ancient social technology. This technology has been engaged for centuries to help build a social fabric, create a sense of community, and help a unify cultures to achieve a specific goal. And this technology is a ritual. The reason I want to bring this up to you as a sales leader is that as a concept, ritual brings people into a common sense of purpose. And when it comes to building a sales team, if they're engaged in moving to the same purpose, you're going to have extraordinary results. Rituals are a social technology, so they are social in nature, meaning when you set up a thing where on Friday afternoons you have a, a get together at an off-site location just to relax and connect with each other, or even allowing your sales team a certain budget in order to take care of clients in a social format, building social connection, social obligation, so that they feel more connected to the relationships that they currently have with you, less likely to leave, more likely to buy, and more profitable. I'll give you an example. Tony Robbins has a ritual that he does at a lot of his conferences, which is they walk through hot coals as an example of overcoming life. Now, think what you want of this ritual, but you can't ignore the science of it. They studied the heart rates of everyone going through this particular ritual. And what was fascinating was this. If you were done with your fire walking and you're over grabbing a drink and you're just sitting off to the side checking your phone, or you were standing there encouraging your buddy to walk across the coals, or if you were that guy who was terrified to take that first step, the cool thing was all of their heart rates aligned. The process of the ritual with everyone, it doesn't matter what aspect of the ritual they were in, they all got in sync with each other. And this is the power of ritual. What I'd like you to understand is as a leader, creating small rituals around the mechanics of what you want your team to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis can be extraordinarily beneficial. And I don't want you to think that you have to go through, go to a conference in order to obtain this. What I'm talking about is increasing the intensity of a routine and creating a ritual. And what I want you to know is that a ritual and a routine are two different things. A routine is getting something done for the sake of accomplishing the specific objective. A ritual is designed to bring community and a sense of engagement to each other and an obligation to each other to work together. So a ritual can become a routine, but a routine rarely becomes a ritual. This social community connection that happens when you engage in a process of a ritual with the entire focus of building social connection. So if you want a dynamic sales team, you need to find a way to infuse small rituals into your weekly cadence when it comes to leading your teams. They become something that people depend on, it's something they look forward to, and it's something that builds social cohesion. And when your team has tight social cohesion, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna pull in the same direction with a lot more energy than they would if they were just directed to. I want you to think about that this week. As you get into the holidays and the end of Q4, what ritual can you infuse into your sales team that can engage them in creating some social cohesion? While it may seem silly to go throw an ax at a wall with a bunch of your coworkers on a Tuesday evening, on Wednesday morning, there's going to be a tighter social cohesion. Think about that this week. And as always, if you need assistance in helping sales teams begin to gel and build cohesion, reach out to us. It's what we do. You can find us on our website or one of our social channels.